up, bro. You can probably hear the rain right now. Because I'm in the... In the summer house. And it's, uh, it's pissing it down, basically. So... I feel like every video starts with... I've come to this realization recently, but I do come to a lot of realizations. Um, and that is that when you hear an opposing opinion, say someone comes up to you and they say, I don't know, I'm a Democrat and you're a Republican or vice versa. Maybe they say, I think that, um, I think that abortion is wrong or I think that abortion is okay. They say something like this and most people immediately become defensive on their own beliefs. They have this ego attachment to their beliefs and that if the fact that they're wrong it means that the whole their whole world crumbles down. Um, and it's immaturity because maturity is accepting that many many things in life you're going to be wrong about. Because many beliefs that you have, many beliefs that you hold right now aren't things that you came to logical conclusions of yourself, but it is something that you've been fed by society and something that you've been told, brought up by, um, even like fed subconsciously that you don't actually realise. I mean, the major one for me that comes to mind is everyone's taught that eating meat and everything like that is okay, eating animal products is okay, um, and I don't. So when I was like 16 and this came up to me, I don't know why, but I wasn't defensive. I've never really been, de been extremely defensive about my opinions, unless it is something that emotionally, emotionally upsets me. For example, if someone says that it's okay to beat your child, then yes, I, I think I'll become defensive and emotionally upset because it's like it's just ridiculous all right someone's getting hurt because of that opinion so it become it's a matter of maturity right if you still find yourself defensive about beliefs and you're like why why am i defensive about this your your main goal in your head is i've got to protect this belief at all costs because if i don't it will mean i'm wrong and it puts you in this defensive state where you're not actually listening to what other people are saying. Compared to my approach, my realization I had, which is no matter what the truth is, you are to follow it. So say, say even if, so, so I'll give you an example recently in my life. Um, if I am indulging in instant gratification, that means that I believe that the truth is that those things are okay and that those things are best for me. I need to educate myself on the nature of these activities in order to find the truth. And that truth that now I believe that I cannot find actually any genuine pleasure or joy out of these activities has now led me to cutting down on them things. Rather than forcing through it with willpower and having this cognitive dissonance in my mind, I am now accepting the full truth that these activities are not good for me and that these activities aren't in my best interest. If you approach, I truly believe, if you approach all life situations with this way of thinking, you will become a much, much more fulfilled person and you'll become a much more developed and mature person than someone that gets emotional about things outside of their control. That's just insane. So I challenge you, I challenge you to listen to the beliefs that you don't agree with and rather approaching it with, okay, how do I prove this person wrong? It's what is, what is the truth here? Is this something I genuinely Associate, uh, associate with is this something I actually think I could see myself believing in is this something that is truthful to who, what my values are as a person yeah 
hope you guys have a good day. I hope the rain isn't too loud. I think it, it died down a bit. So I think we're going to be good. I think the video is going to be fine. Have a good day. The time is always now. Peace.